Today, I will be testing my new Western electric tube. I think I showed this to you, to all of you last time. This is the Western electric 300B year 1950, week 52. This one quite old tubes. So as usual, when I have a tubes, I always test it first in order to make sure the tube is in good quality or not. So without further ado, we will be testing this 300B tube with my U Tracer 6. This is one of, I would say, the best tester. Uh, affordable price and it can do like a thousand of volt and up to like one amp of current. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant tester. So without further ado, Let's plug the tubes and test it. And we're not only going to be testing this tube, but we also will be doing some curve tracing. Okay, so let me change the camera first a bit. On lower side, okay. This is the socket. So I will plug this tube directly to the socket. So it's heating up a bit. So let me switch the camera here. You can see it's currently running about 5.1 volt and 1 M of current. Let's go back here, do some zoom out a bit. The other thing that I need to do is I need to check the voltage of the tube, the filament. Because even we do a bit kind of uh, five volt in the power supply, usually the voltage at the pins slightly lower a bit. So let me quickly put my multimeter and measure the tube's filament voltage here. Let me do a quick test here. It's a bit difficult to position, but I hope I can reach the the socket easily. What we are reading now here? Oh, sorry. Not yet. Four point nine six. That should be okay. Almost five volt. So. Yeah, I think this voltage is good enough for us to start the curve tracer process. So let me move the camera a bit to my screen. Okay, we move to my computers. Let's start the U tracer. Compliance. Okay, I think we can start heater on. And then we start the quick test. You can see in the manual that Western Electric 300B, 350 volts, you can see here. And with the grid bias minus 74, we can get up to like 60 milliamps. Right, so we can see here, let's switch to 360 volt. And then the grid bias 74. And then assume maximum is 600, oh sorry, 60. And then the tube is 300B. Let's do a quick test here to see what will be the result. You can see the tube measure about 60 milliamp here. So this is like 100% new. Amazing, you have a 1950 uh, tube, year 1950, and the condition is pristine like new, right? And I think we are not stopping here. I also will do the curve trace of this tube. So let's use this one. I think we should use anode voltage, screen constant. Yes, start from two. We can see like a 500, a 30 interval, minus uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 80, and I believe minus 100. 
This is similar with like the data sheet of the tubes. You can see here, sorry, let me zoom in a bit. So this is what we are measuring, plate current. It's a plate voltage, this uh, grid bias. Right, this is what we're expecting to see. So compliance, I think we can set like uh, 800 is fine. Or oh, yes, follow 766. Right, this grid bias, okay, constant. Let's measure the curve. Let's roll it. So you can see here that the software start to curve trace the tube. Start with the minus 20 of the grid bias. And it start like measuring the voltage here versus the plate current. Right, so of course with the minus 20 and they will go up to like min minus, oh sorry, 500 volts and they will measuring the, the, the output current, the plate current. We will be having some compliance error in here because we set the limit here at 766 milliamp while definitely it will exceed 700 milliamp here by the time it reach 500 volt of plate voltage so let's quickly see uh then the next uh, uh measurement we can see it's going to minus 40 grid bias and then uh we can see the numbers are now showing increasing right the plate voltage and the, the plate current and so on Next is continue with the minus 60 grid bias, green colors, and yeah, it will start do the curve trace, creating the dot for every setting that, that we want to measure. It will take some time. I think every tube will take like five minutes, depends on how many interval you would like to set. And what would be the range between like maybe zero or two to up to a thousand volts. So this is going to be uh, not so time consuming, but I would say it will take some time to get the number uh, or the result uh, completely done. Let's wait for a couple more minutes. I think easily we need at least one minute per uh, grid bias. And if you're choosing five, I'm choosing five here, minus 20 to minus 100, easily it will take five minutes or so. No problem, right? But I think now we can see the tube itself, right? How it is like a performing or maybe how it is like a matching between tubes, right? By the time we uh, export the result and we can redraw the chart or the the curve right and match with the other tube of course you're not expecting to get a match pair of tubes at this kind of a level right this is very old tubes 70 years old tubes and at the time people don't even care about stereo right about having a match pair of tubes even having a fully working tubes is already a miracle right 70 years old tubes so i think we're almost done here and it is like showing the the result here and i guess we are done and i can easily save data here save as a block right and i can put like 300 b uh western electric number one done so i will export the this this text to to file later and put in Excel. So this is it. We finally uh, kind of uh, complete the curve tracing of these tubes. So hope you enjoy the video today and see you again. Bye bye.